guys, I'm Manjita and yes, we are on part two of English speaking section in IELTS. Well, before that, thank you for coming back and I am glad that you enjoyed the part one and be careful on how part two should be conducted. And for all of you guys who are vlogging for the first time, I'm Manjita and I help you crack English better. If you're interested in getting an online one-on-one -on -one session for personality development, English speaking and confidence building, write to me at learnenglishwithmanjita at gmail. And if you're a student planning to study abroad or if you're a professional and wants to work abroad, do write to me at myopportunitiesabroad at gmail. Well, coming back, this section of IELTS, which is part two of IELTS speaking section, is more, it's called long turn. It's more so on the pattern of cue card. The video has been doing great and people are just loving it. So you don't be left behind. Do check out that video on cue card. It's gonna give you amazing insights and I have linked it above. Well, coming back to the IELTS part two section, yes, it's called the long turn and it's basically on a cue card approach. So the examiner here will give you a piece of paper, a pencil probably to write on and the question which will have the main question and bullets under it. Okay. And you will get one minute to jot down your ideas, thought processes and points, think and then for the other two minutes which will of course be prompted by the examiner you will have to give answers to all the bullet points or to all the questions which have been bulleted in front of you so we'll take an example for example the question could be that tell me about a memorable event which uh, which just happened or tell me about an unforgettable experience which you have um, just gone through or, or it could be anything you know now if the theme is the event the experience the memory uh, anything which which you have felt gone through or experienced and there would be bulleted questions okay now ideally the questions will be related to the topic which is given in a form that it would ask you what was it where did it happen when did it happen how is it memorable or what have you learned from it or what do you plan to do beyond that something of that sort okay so always look for the keywords they are asking okay if it's asking tell me about a memorable event which has happened so uh, when exactly did that take place you know or this could have been written a different way so what time frame did it happen or when was that when it happened or something like that so all of these are indicating that when the time okay similarly you'll have leading questions towards where you'll have questions maybe with whom or you'll have questions what do you learn from it or why do you think it's memorable okay so these are your topics which have been listed the questions are right in front of you it's pretty simple pretty easy you know what to answer now the catch is that if everything is if everything is so simple then why don't we score marks yeah well at this point let me tell you that be careful on what event or what idea what experience you're choosing it should be something which you can talk about because it has so many leading questions to it okay now let's take we can take an event okay it could be your 20th birthday or 16th birthday or 30th birthday it could be your marriage it could be um, a football match which you have won you you become the man of the match in cricket something like that I've given you a lot of examples right now it is that event if you take marriage as an event or if you take birthday as an event okay uh, then the first question was that when did it happen of course you're gonna give the time frame now can I just say it happened on 18 January 1987 or it happened on 20th December 2014 or it happened no so you can either give a very short answer which I completely tell you to avoid because the examiner wants to listen to you you have to talk for the examiner to judge you you have to use correct usage of grammar great vocabulary your tenses everything should be perfect 
and should be enough as a sample for the examiner to mark you on right come on you've practiced so hard for it this is the time to use it yes so instead of just giving a one word answer I would advise you to give a story so this is regarding my uh, 20th birthday we just took place let's say a month back on this 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 date I have been waiting for it for quite some time in fact I was counting days and and hours and seconds and minutes and and my family gave me a lovely surprise it was wonderful I cannot forget that day okay and I'm waiting so you've given that date given a little story about it the next question was where did it happen at the same time do not answer the other questions okay the next question was where did it take place so do not answer where in your first point you can continue it to the second point it has to be a continuation you cannot go haphazard you cannot give answer one and then answer five and then answer two and then come back to again five and then so do not there is a sequence which is formed and that sequence usually helps you form the story to tell the story so follow it they've already given you the cue that's why it's called cue card or the long term there's a cues which are given to you follow the cues follow the order all right so the next say is where did it happen it happened at the farms in Delhi or or it happened at the uh, riverside in Australia in Queensland or it happened at the Times Square uh, wherever you feel uh, is correct or wherever that thing happened you can talk about it and talk a little bit more about the place how is the place uh, where the river was beautiful there were lights everywhere it happened in the evening at this point in time and uh, the traffic was less and the breeze was blowing it was stupendous okay so see I've used an amazing word and I've described the little place over there so where did it happen take the examiner to that place okay virtually take the examiner to that place let the examiner think oh wow it's a lovely river it's flowing and it's breezy and it's quiet and it's lighted up and so you know the moment you describe a particular place you sell a particular point to someone do that the next question is let's say with whom did you celebrate it was a birthday bash a surprise bash given to me by my friends and these friends are my uni friends or they have been my work colleagues or it was given to me by a family my family loves giving surprises and my younger brother is really naughty and he did this little thing to me so you are giving little snippets okay and the last one could be that why is it memorable you know so always remember your last one is your defining question about the topic so why is it memorable what did you learn from it do you look forward to it or not something or the other this kind of question will be there it was the most memorable experience I've ever had it was the greatest birthday I've ever had until now because I wasn't expecting it no one wished me since morning they were playing a prank on me and I thought everybody forgot about it but then when I came there accidentally well which was not accident because they had planned it it was a big bash given on my own in my I mean for my birthday and I was completely in tears I was overwhelmed I didn't know how to react for a few seconds and then I went and hugged all of my friends and said thank you to them and I am sure that I'm not gonna forget this for a quite long time in my life you know so what you've done you have made the examiner feel what you felt at that point in time so use words which will instigate or which will get that create that feeling and that emotion into the person who's listening to it right now having said you've understood how a cue card is I tell you again have a look at that video which I've done in detail about cue card so you know how to tackle part two of the speaking section of IELTS all right again I would stress on the part that speak slow there's no point rushing always think before you speak okay speak slow and remember to use different words remember to use synonyms to describe the same feeling remember to use uh, do not use difficult words the words which you also can't pronounce don't use them because it clearly shows that you are giving f showing efforts to do it you know it should be natural all right 
and it's okay if you falter while explaining something it's okay to ask for pardon and go again uh, it's okay to fumble like I just fumbled and and I say uh, okay and then correct yourself okay it's human it's human you're not a robo always remember but when you do something wrong it's always good to tell the examiner um, let me take a second I would like to go a little back and uh, talk about this a little more it's okay it's as good as talking to someone my last bit of advice is you will have two minutes to talk okay that is post your one minute of preparation which is given what you can do is if there are three questions or there are four questions you can quickly write two bullet points with each question that what are you going to talk about okay if my first question was when did it happen so I would write date and probably I would write um, uh, why is it important to me so it, it happened let's say 20th of December and December uh, sorry I would write the date and I would write a little bit about that time frame uh, it happened on 20th of December in this year and December is really special to me uh, there are many other important events which happened in December and I look forward to this month and I was waiting I was counting hours and minutes remember so you create a story on that second one with whom did you celebrate for example or where did you celebrate then you write about that place you describe that place you describe whatever was there then third so you write two two bullet points on each if you have let's say four questions and you have two minutes time frame you know that you have to take around 30 seconds for each uh, question of yours so that you can complete it in two minutes it's okay if you go beyond two minutes don't worry about it but ensure that within two minutes you're touching base with all the four questions okay because even if you cross the time limit the examiner would stop you so that's perfectly fine it's okay don't worry about it all right guys i have also done a tree trunk approach which helps you how to connect the branches of a particular thought i link it above have a look at it it's very 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 important it will definitely help you bye always remember you are my rock star don't worry ielts is pretty simple and speaking section is simply great so go Get in love with speaking to yourself, go into look into the mirror, get in love with speaking to your friends, with your family, practice, practice and practice and let me know that how did it go with you. Bye bye, take care.